for the um, woman from Baltimore? That would be me, sweetheart. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're the prostitute? Retired. Use a lot more powder, honey. I don't want to shine. Oh, well, could you excuse us for a minute? Hi, I'm Gail Ingersoll. I'm a producer here at Lightline. Oh, wow. You must be making loads of dough. Although, you could have done all right in my racket. Thank you. Listen, I, I know this is going to sound strange coming from a producer of this show, but don't do the show. He stole my watch. No, that was the old Grant Kendall. The new Grant Hi, Kendall. I'm the new Grant Kendall. Bastard, where's my watch? <laughs> right here. I, uh, I've kept it as a reminder of how low I sank in and the hopes that someday I run into you. Jesus saves. You think I can get this buffed out? The man who stole your watch doesn't exist anymore. I mean, he's changed. He's, he's decent and caring and inspiring. And if you go on tonight, you will ruin all the good he's trying to accomplish. Please, please don't do this. Honey, that was lovely. But I spent a hundred bucks on this little number. And Jesus himself ain't stopping me from going on TV. <laughs> It's the largest grassroots political organization in America. Tonight, a look at the Moral Coalition and its new leader, Grant Kendall. We'll be talking with Mr. Kendall and with a woman from Baltimore who questions Mr. Kendall's commitment to his organization's family values agenda. Whatsoever you do for the least of my brethren, that you do unto me. Okay, everybody, we're live. In five. <laughs> Mr. Kendall, as we've just seen from this very moving film clip, your membership appears to truly live by the values your organization promotes. Pierce, I know where you're headed with this. So, may I begin by saying that in my past, I did some things I'm not proud of. And yes, I and along those lines, we also have in our studios tonight, Roxy O'Neill. Hi, Pierce. Ms. O'Neill, for many years, you earned your living as a prostitute, did you not? Yes, I was a working girl. And I put three kids through college. Super. And in all those years, did any of your customers or Johns ever steal anything from you? Nope. What? Let's come at this from uh -oh. a different Wasn't direction. She supposed to? Did anyone ever steal a watch from you? Like I said, Pierce. Nope. She's bailing! Yes! Ms. O'Neill, didn't you call our offices all day insisting that you be put on the air to identify Mr. Kendall as one of your customers. I had so many clients. You really can't expect me to remember every one of them. Although you look familiar. Pierce, I can't let this woman lie to protect me. Six years ago, I paid Miss O'Neill for sex and then stole her watch. I am a sinner, but I am a sinner saved by grace. The very next day, I gave God control of my life and he gave me his gift of forgiveness. But will the members of the Moral Coalition do the same? I hope so. Hey, I forgive him. The man gave me my watch back, and he put on a new band. Alligator. Sweet. Thank you, Roxy. And thank you, Jesus. Jesus.